Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. This is for the week of January 30th through February 5th and I'm using the Park Hopper kit from Scribble Prints Co. I've had this kit in my collection or my storage for probably a couple years now. This was one of those kits that I was just hoarding for a while and then I was going to use it in the year that I was doing the Disney spreads and I never got around to it, never ended up doing it. Uh, and then I was like, I, I have to use this kit at some point and it was one of those that just kept getting pushed back. So, we decided to use it. I figured it was a pretty good transition from January to February because it has like the light blue in it, but also has pinks and um, it's just very colorful and Disney who like you can't go wrong with Disney. Honestly, I just instantly was like, okay, we're going to use this kit. Um, so I did pull in a little bit of washi from Crest Press that is from I think the Pride spread that I did for last year. Um, I pulled that in because I needed some type of washi, but I wanted to use the washi overlay, but I didn't have like a washi strip by itself because I don't buy the 15 millimeter strips usually. And I thought this kit would have had one, but it didn't. So because old format. So I just pulled in that one and I feel like it matches pretty well. It's like a tie dye -y, like rainbow kind of. And I figured it matched pretty well and I just put the overlay on top of that. Um, but all the foil that I used with this other than the two overlays were from the foil bundle that came with this kit. Um, the quote overlays, there's one that I put down that says Believe in the Magic. That one's from Scribble Prints Co. And then the other one is a Aurora quote um, from Planet Hannah from like the princess sheet. So I think that's all the basic stuff that you need to know for the base of this. Yes, because everything else in here is all Scribble Prints Co. foil. The uh, bougie boxes are Scribble Prints Co. from the foil bundle, so things like that. But yes, this this spread, I, I, I'm so glad I finally used this kit because it is just... It, it is beauty and she is grace and she's miss united states it's so pretty um the foil on this hollow foil with my camera is the best one that gets picked up just because of the way that the foil is and this entire spread just looking at the foil it is just beautiful as i do like this base the foil just gets better and better and i'm like oh my god this 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 kit is <laughs> great um but nothing like too crazy really happened on this week. It was one of my friend's birthdays on the, the Sunday. Um, so we ended up going to an escape room, which was really, really fun. It was the first escape room that I've ever done. And she specifically wanted to do like a scary one. And every single person in my friend group was like, <laughs> no, who do you think we are? You think we're going to do a scary one? So this one was not that scary, but we like, we screamed at one point and it was supposed to be like a family friendly one and we still screamed. So that's why we were like, and you wanted us to do the scary one? No. But, um, that was my first escape room that I've ever done and it was so cool. It was so much fun. I am really into like puzzles and doing things like that. And I just, I really enjoy, um, solving puzzles and problem solving. And it was right up my alley and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, we ended up getting not the I think we had the best time of the day and we were, we had like an extra like 12 minutes left over or something like that, which was pretty good. So, um, it was a very, very fun experience. And then like after that, we went to like go to our house, we did game night and stuff. So it was just a good day overall spending time with the friends and it was, it was just a fun experience out of the normal for once. Um, usually for everyone's birthdays, we'll do something and whoever it is gets to decide on what we're doing. Um, and the escape room was definitely a new one for most of us. And we just, like I said, we all very, very, very much enjoyed it. Um, okay. We're getting to the foil overlays and stuff. So I'm, I'm picking and choosing what I want, but we're getting there. And oh my God, this foil, y'all, the foil. Also, if anyone was curious, I have a gap up in the top left corner above my sidebar. That is for months that I don't have printed in my own font um, and foiled, that is for that. I don't have them, unfortunately, because I haven't made them for myself. So I will eventually make them for myself, but that is why it's like weirdly empty up in that corner. It's so that I can put in the month there. I just don't have it yet. So um, that will go in later or at some point whenever I get the chance to actually going around and printing those and cutting them and all that jazz. So that'll happen eventually. But uh, yeah, so we're going to put down the overlays. Um, nothing else really happened this week. I signed in well, I didn't really sign in. Um, I ended up giving my uh, some of my family members 
uh, comp tickets, which are complimentary tickets, um, to get into Disney. I was supposed to go in and, like, actually sign them in, um, but unfortunately, I was, like, way too exhausted. Didn't want to have to wake up at, like, 6 a.m. the next day because I closed the night before. It just happened to be the one time that I closed at 1 o'clock and then had to be back at work at, um, like 2 30 that day it just happened to be one of those situations where I didn't get a mid when I had been getting mids constantly so I ended up just giving them like a ticket instead of me like physically being there to sign them in so um we did that this week as well but I think that's kind of everything for like major things so we'll just go to a day by day and just go over what we did nothing crazy like I said um so Monday um Monday was the day that we took um my lab kujo to the vet this was the first vet appointment that he had where they were kind of they did an ultrasound wasn't able to do like a full major ultrasound without actually having him like go under and stuff like that so or sedating him essentially so um we ended up doing like an emergency walk-in because he was not eating at all nothing like good unfortunately was happening so we we did an emergency walk-in and we were there all day literally so we woke up early and early as in like we woke up at like seven got there at like eight because I think they opened at eight and we were there my dad was like one of the like second or third people in line and it took almost until one o'clock for them to finally um actually no they took him at like nine ten ish and then it took like one o'clock for them to finally see him so it was a long time um but i marked that we were up early so i used a munchkin from once more with love for that and then i marked the vet and i used another once more with love munchkin these are like little like work occupation character stickers um and then i just marked that we were out all day because we were i it was one of those where i needed to go home and like work on orders and stuff and we didn't realize that it was going to be all day like we were there until they closed um so i used like a grin and bear at little like surprise bear to mark that we were out all day um we did end up going to get lunch at the hat and which is like a pastrami sandwich type of place um and then I took a nap in my car but um we definitely could have gone home but like where we where the vet is we really like this vet but it's like a 45 minute drive from us or like a 30 minute drive so we didn't want to go all the way home and then have to come back like an hour later so that was why we didn't leave so we sat in my car for most of the day um but the second half of Monday, I marked that men are trash because they are, first and foremost, um, but this was the day that the guy that I was talking to, essentially, I was like, all right, I'm done with you. So, I used, like, a annoyed humph like type of munchkin to mark that and then for the hat I used a vanilla from paper shire um it was like a sandwich sticker that I figured matched it well enough um but I used that to mark the hat and then I mark marked mar not mark oh my god I can't English I marked that I would watch love guaranteed I will be 100% honest with you I don't fully remember this movie I think it had um the girl that's in she's all that and uh coach from new girl i think it's that movie but i watched that one and i used a munchkin to mark that and then i just used like the little movie marquee from the foil bundle that came with it so i watched that movie don't fully remember it but here we are uh, moving on to tuesday tuesday was my payday as always so i used a icon from the foil bundle and then a payday script that is also from the foil bundle um and then i lost my pass on this day so we have a pass that um, allows us to be able to get people in to disney and i lost it i literally could not find it and i was like where the heck did i put this pass i eventually found it i can't tell you where it was because i don't remember but the worst part about it was that I lost my pass right before I was also supposed to get my cousins into, like, my family member into Disney, and I just, it was bad timing. I was tired, and I was like, all right, we're not going to try to find this, so I eventually found it. Again, don't know where it was, but I used a fairy godmother, like, one ton of million sticker to mark that I lost my pass, and then I marked pics with friends because we did take some pictures with a um like little background that was um up for mickey minnie's runaway Huawei. uh they were doing like a promo for it and we were able to take pictures so i did mark that it was the one time that all of us were actually there at work together which is very very rare so i figured why not and then i marked that i was training again um I'm, again, not going to put their name, but I was training on this day. This was the last day that I think I had to train. And then, funnily enough, coming up next week, I have to train again. So, we love that. Um, but I used a boo from 
Monsters, Inc. to mark that. Pretty much for all of these, I was just using Disney characters that were from different shops that just matched the spreads for anything that was related to Disney. Um, moving on after that, I marked that I was Tired AF because I was, so I used a Paper Shire Vanilla to mark that, and the Tired AF script is in font one from my shop. As always, if you did not know, I do have a shop. It is called Magical Sticker Co. on Etsy. It is always linked in my description if you want to check it out. Um, after that, I made the complimentary ticket reservation because you still have to make reservations with those tickets, and thankfully, those are never usually blocked out, so I was able to make a last-minute one, and I just used the um, Sultan, I think that's his name, from Aladdin, the, like, father in Aladdin, to mark that because, again, he matched, so might as well. Um, moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday, I was up early again, like, really early because I had a like send the comps and everything to uh, my family. So I did mark waking up early. So I used a once more with love munchkin for that. Again, I apparently need up early scripts. Oh, that was my chair. I'm sorry. Um, I never thought I was ever going to need up early scripts, but here we are. We need them apparently. Um, and then I did mark sending my comps to her. So I used a paper and milk uh, Maro on a laptop to mark that. And then I got bakers for lunch. So I used these little like bunny things. They're like from Wreck It Ralph 2 or Ralph Breaks the Internet. Um, but they have little burgers instead of the pancakes. But I use that to mark bakers because I usually will get a, ba a burger from there. Sometimes I'll get a chicken quesadilla. But I'm really sad though because they changed their chicken quesadilla, which literally I was eating it the other day and I was like, mm, this is not as good as I remember it. And now I'm sad, but um, it's okay. It happens. Um, on the second half of Wednesday, I'm a little ahead. Filming Lindsay, you need to speed it up. This is what happens when I don't have a bunch of like scripts to put down. I have to write everything in and it takes me a while, but also the rest of this is all scripts. So it kind of balances out. Um, but I did take a nap because I had to work on this day and I needed to make sure that I was, um, like going to be able to last through my shift. So I used a paper shire sticker and a nap script that is from, I believe that's from Script Prince Co. It's like from an old like script freebie or something like that. And then I marked that I had to get gas. So I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji and a get gas script that is from Kinsey's Creations, who's unfortunately no longer open. And last but not least, I marked that I don't get paid enough for this shit because mood, literally me, every time I go to work. Um, and I use the Fox and Cactus Girl and the script is from Letters to Apollo, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe it's from Letters to Apollo. Um, that is it for Wednesday. Moving on to Thursday, nothing really happened on Thursday. Honestly, I only had five things to mark. It's kind of funny because there is like, most of these days I only have like six things to mark. Thursday has five days and then there's Sunday that has eight things and I probably could have used a like extender if I wanted to on this day but I didn't and kind of regretting it because th Sunday's like real busy it's real wild but it's okay um so for Thursday I marked that I was changing my Apple email um so I've had an email that is a very very when I mean very old email it's a very old email it's like one of my first ever emails that I ever created um and it's like one of those cheesy like you know how you had like uh like hipster girl 08 or something like that that's literally what like that email is and it has like little letters and stuff missing in it so that was what that email was for my apple email and i was like okay i don't even log on to this email anymore i need to change it and i figured out that you can change it didn't know for a long time that you could but you can so i marked changing my email on this day so i used a little at symbol that is from um some foil icons in i think these are just the hollow ones i don't think yeah, I, they're not a part of the foil bundle. I believe I just used um, ones that were in my sticker storage. Um, and then same thing with the submitting trade. I used the clock icon for that. Again, just ones from my sticker storage. On the second half of Thursday, so my sister ordered a new dog bed because at this point, um, unfortunately, Kojo wasn't able to get up and he was on the dog bed in the back um, and she had ordered, well, he was getting up but not not very frequently. So she had ordered a second one. So that there's one in the back of my parents' room and then one in the living room. So we did have a second one get delivered on this day. And, um, I think still to this day, they prefer the other one, or at least Bailey does. She doesn't usually lay on the one that we have that my sister bought, but 
we have a second bed just because we needed it. Um, so the sticker I used for that is like a Bailey custom sticker that someone had given to me a long, long time ago. Um, and then after that, I marked that I got coffee. So I used a paper and milk coffee cup and a coffee run script that is from the foil bundle. And I just marked that it was really, really, really cold because it was, it was pretty cold in February. And even now it's still relatively cold. I think next week it's finally supposed to get up into the eighties, um, which for some people is probably blaring hot, but for us eighties, is pretty nice for California weather. So, um, for marking that it was really, really cold, I just used a munchkin for that. Moving on to Friday. Friday, I carpooled and I had a turnaround, unfortunately, so we were tired, um, but I used a little like car sticker and then a carpool script in font five from my shop. And then I did mark a Starbucks run. So I used a paper milk coffee cup and a Starbucks run script that is from my shop in font one. And then I had to make a reservation on this day. I think I ended up going to the parks with my sister the Monday after this. Um, so I had to make a reservation for that. So this, this bell, first off, she's really, really cute and she matches so well. Um, but I used her to mark making the reservation and it, she is from Paper Shire. On the second half of Friday, um, I marked that I was having a bad day. Guys, honestly, at this point... I'm kind of having more bad days than good days, which makes me a little sad, um, but it's okay. It happens. Um, we have a lot of rough days, but um, eventually I'll have more good days than bad days, but today was just one of the bad days. So I used a sighing paper milk maru and a bad day script that is in font six from my shop, um, and then I did get raising canes after work, so we used a chicken nugget that's from Carly Plants and a raising cane script from uh, sugar box stickers. And I marked that I placed an Amazon order. So I used some boxes from School Prince Co. and the Amazon order script is from my shop in font one. Moving on to Saturday. So Saturday was, um, not too busy, a little bit. Um, so Saturday, first and foremost, I did mark a YouTube binge. I used a really big box for that and then used smaller ones for the rest of it. Um, but I used a paper and milk, um, sticker to mark the YouTube binge and then the script is in font one from my shop and then I did mark Stardew Valley. I got back into watching or like one of the Twitch streamers I was watching was playing Stardew Valley and I was like I need to play this game because I'm obsessed with this game now again. Um, so I started playing that. I think I played it for like a couple weeks and then I fell off of it and started playing The Sims again but was playing Stardew for a while, so I used a munchkin to mark that. It's like a little farming munchkin, which I specifically bought these farming munchkins for marking Stardew Valley because I thought they're just perfect and they're cute. Um, and then the Stardew Valley script is in font one from my shop. And then on this day, I had to reset my Apple password because for some reason, I can never remember what my password is, but also because I feel like it's always like messed up for some reason. Like I can never save it and it's just, it's always messed up. So I had to reset it on this day. Um, and I just used like a phone icon from the foil bundle to mark that. On the second half of Saturday, I marked Duncan as we usually do. So the coffee cup is from paper and milk and the Duncan script, once we get there, when filming Lindsay's taking her sweet time, um, but the Duncan script is in font six from my shop. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I used hollow foil for all the scripts and everything in this kit. So anything that I pulled in, I just used hollow foil. The um, foil bundle, I believe, is like a lavender or like a pink hollow, but I just use normal. Um, after the Duncan, I marked um, crazy drivers. I will be 100% honest with you. I don't remember what happened on this day for me to mark crazy drivers because there's crazy drivers in California 24-7, um, but something must have happened for me to have marked it enough on my planner. So, we had crazy drivers on this day. I probably almost got into an accident or something, but I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that. And then I marked that I had another rough night and I used a Stress AF Munchkin for marking the rough night. Moving on to Sunday. So Sunday, like I said, was one of my friend's birthdays. It was Emily's birthday. Um, so I put down first, I have these really, really old Scrubble Prince Co. balloons that I've been, I've had for years and I've been slowly, very, very slowly using them as I have more people who have birthdays in my life. Um, so I've been slowly using all of them, but the balloons are from there. They're really, really old. You can't purchase them anymore. Um, and then the little birthday character sticker that I used is a wanton a million sticker that I just put on the balloons. I really like doing this because I think it's really cute with like the little 
birthday sticker and then the balloons. I just think like the layering look looks so cute. Um, but yeah, I used that to mark her birthday. And then I did mark that we had to sign a waiver because we did have to sign a waiver for um, the escape room. So I used a little pen with a munchkin to mark that. And then I marked that we had to buy her present. So we waited until literally the last minute to buy her present. So we had to go to like one of the outlet stores, go get her like a pair of Converse. And it just happened to be that the Valentine's line was out. And there were like shoes that were very much like her and we were like oh my god we need these we ended up buying the wrong size on accident because one of our other friends was like yeah we think she's an eight she's actually a nine so note to self she's a nine I know that now um, but we ended up buying her the wrong shoes but she was able to exchange them but the crazy part was that we literally got there. We had like 10 minutes to get to the store, back out, and then get to the escape room on time. And we were making good time. We were fine. We bought her present and everything. I used a fox and cactus girl to mark that. Um, but the issue was that as we were going to the escape room and like from the outlets to the escape room, it was like a five, maybe 10 minute drive at most. We had plenty of time. We were going to be there on time. We got stopped on the freeway. And we were parked on the freeway, like l legit parked for like 10, 15 minutes or so. And it was because there was a car that was like stalled in the far lane and the police officer decided to shut down the entire freeway um, for like 15, 20 minutes. I was like, yeah, you couldn't have let us go you had to stop us the entire time and so we we would call her and we we're like we're gonna be late because we're literally parked on the freeway and she made a comment of like see i knew you guys were gonna be late and we're like no no no, we were gonna be on time we were going to be on time and just did not happen that way so i marked that we were parked on the freeway with like a why me munchkin because i was literally as we were like sitting there we're like can we move please let us move like we were so frustrated but we made it to the escape room we we're fine we we're chilling um so after that to mark the escape room i used a munchkin like two little friend munchkins i didn't know what else to use i could have used like a detective oh i should have used a detective sticker i don't know if i have those but i should use that oh well future in the future um but I just use like two little friends because I figured that would work um and then I did mark that we had a game night like I said we went after the escape room to her house and we had a game night so I used like these really old scrub prince cow scribblers to mark that and the game night script is an old one old hollow um script from old scrub prince cove samplers oh my god my brain trying to figure out what I was just saying um and then I marked that we had food and drinks because we had a bunch of food there was um like we got Jollibee we got some pizza she had a lasagna like we we had a bunch of food and then alcohol obviously as well so I used some munchkins to mark that as well so food drinks game night it was a great time and then I did mark that we had a good day just a good day with friends in general so I used two friends from Watana Million and then a good day script that is in font six from my shop and that is everything for this plan with me. A lot happened at the end, but it was a very, very fun and good times. Um, here is the f spread in full. I will do a flip through of everything that is left in the kits. I used a lot of the labels, but not nearly as many as I thought I was going to. I definitely thought I was going to use a lot more in this kit, but um, I didn't use, obviously, I didn't have as many plans. The only actual day that had a lot of plans was Sunday. So we have a lot left over for future spreads that we will use um but that's gonna be everything for this plan with me when i'm done flipping through everything in the kit i will show you guys the wiggle guys this wiggle with the foil oh my god hollow foil i'm telling you it just it picks up so well look at it look at it oh my god wow hollow foil is just great but that is everything for this plan with me thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and leave me some type of comment down below and um i will see you guys on friday for another video bye guys